my name is Kate McStraw and I'm the producer of Breathing Room. Breathing Room is a multi-sensory kinetic art installation which was dreamt up by the artist Anna Berry. And what you can see is the culmination of seven years of development for the artist alongside many collaborators that she's worked with since 2014. So the piece is constructed initially with a large metal armature that's basically kind of bolted together like giant Meccano. Um, and inside that, there are smaller geometric shapes that help configure the inner space of the tunnel. And those were fabricated by the living people at 101 Creation Space. We then have this beautiful mechanism. Um, it's in four sections. So there's a motor for each section attached to a main axle that then has gears ratioed to make things move apparently chaotically. But what it boils down to is that it feeds into really simple reciprocating lever mechanisms. And this was really elegantly crafted by Clive Doherty at Festive Road. Then on each of our little panels, we have flexible rods on which the cones are clad in a very particular configuration. And what you can see, if you look here, is that the levers are moving directly on one plane forward and backwards. And one of the interesting illusions of the piece is that when you're inside, because of the large, small fluctuation of the cone, you get an effect of blooming. So the experience is very much a juxtaposition of the outside, which is very mechanistic, very man-made, very straight lines and spiky. And then the inside, which feels really organic and, and, and luminous and everything very soft. When you're on the inside, because you feel like you're in an organic space, it, it gives you a sense of the uncanny because you've already seen on the outside that the movement is created in a very mechanical way. estimated about 28,000 of the cones and these are threaded by volunteers on site every single time. Um, they're made out of a material called Tyvek and it's quite paper-like but it's also robust for outdoor showings. Yeah, we were able to do a little bit for helping people throughout the pandemic by being able to pay people to do like little, little cottage industry cone rolling for us. Okay, so the sound is made by the mechanism. I mean, it's gears, it's chains, it's axles turning, it's little bits of carbon rod next to metal. When you're in the space, the idea is that you experience space in a completely different way than you might in any other sensory experience. So it should be a completely unique sensory experience of the space around you. I think it's pretty incredible for such a huge piece that everything in it is bespoke and handmade. So, you know, it, it's real craftsmanship from the, the tiniest part to the biggest, the biggest section. I'd like to see Breathing Room in all kinds of places. I'd like it in diverse locations. So at one end of the scale, I'd love to see it just in like a multi-story car park or something. And at the other end of the scale, it'd be great to see it in like Kew Gardens or somewhere fancy. Um, I'd love for it to tour internationally as well. It's really amazing to see the audience experience. It's really quite kind of moving. Um, we've had a couple of people literally cry because they find it quite profound, the experience. We see kids being delighted, people just spontaneously enjoying it coming out the other end. So it's, it's really lovely. It makes it feel worth it. 